There's plenty of search engines on the market at the moment with all different selling points and features, which is great because Google does need competition and users should be able to search the web in a way that they feel comfortable. And one question that we get asked a lot is how our search engine compares to Google. So I wanted to create this video and give you a side-by-side -side comparison with some extra details into what we're doing differently. Kagi's homepage, like Google's, is very simple prioritizing the searcher as it should be. We have also added a small search options button underneath the search bar that allows you to narrow your results should you want to hyper-focus your intent. One extra way to do this that's unique to Kagi is by creating something that we call a lens. Put simply, a lens is a custom list of your favorite websites which allows you to only receive search results from websites that you have inputted into your custom lens. It's a super simple tool that allows you to remove the fluff from other websites in a niche that you are looking to explore. For example, if you are looking for information about movies, your custom lens could feature a handful of your favorite movie websites, and when your lens is turned on, you will only see results from those favorite websites that you have inputted. Think of it like picking up a magazine that is very specific about one subject. That's what we intend with a lens, to hyper-focus your intent on one niche. Now let's compare a typical search without the use of a custom lens. Let's say I want to explore Italy and look for great places to visit. In Kagi, you can see that we show a wide range of high quality results, such as discussion pages from real people, Lonely Planet, which is a great and well-known source for travel information by real experienced journalists, and we'll even show you smaller independent sites that have accumulated travel experience on their own, like this one ran by a family. Our images and video tabs prioritize real photography and videos, and our algorithm will try its hardest to lower the chances of seeing low-quality AI images and videos. There's nothing worse than seeing fake videos and clickbait titles in your feed, so we actually give you the choice to turn this off, and our algorithm suppresses it as best as it can. Now, if we search the same query on Google, the first thing that Google shows you is a sponsored result. These are results that Google is getting paid to show you. I count not one, not two, but three sponsored results before an organic result. This is not what the user wants to see and it becomes very evident that the doorway to the internet is controlled predominantly by an advertising company, which incentivizes them to please advertisers rather than the actual user. And it's likely why you've maybe realized that it's harder to find information about the things you are searching for these days, because unfortunately, their search results are flooded with bias and advertisers. And some would say, and it's not factual, it's just my opinion, that they have a somewhat incentive to lower the quality of their search results in hope that people click sponsored results. Here's another example of a search comparison. You can see quite vividly what we are doing differently here. And one which recently did the rounds on social media was a Reddit user who searched for John Wick 5 on Google. This showed a lot of fake clickbait garbage content that was just there for clicks. It showcased AI produced videos and images with no real information regarding the actual reality of the John Wick 5 development, which isn't really in production and the movie doesn't even exist yet. Whereas Kagi will show you real information as quickly as possible to give you the highest results. Now let's go back to Kagi's results about Italy. We will even show you how many ads and trackers each website is using to give you a better understanding as to how respectful this source is to your time and data. Whereas on Google, there is no preemptive sign in regards to how the website will respect your search intent and how intrusive their advertising may be. At Kagi, we will even allow you to alter the ranking adjustments of websites on the fly. Perhaps you like the family run website, for example, with the press of a button, you can see more of it. Or if there's a website that has too many trackers, no quality content and advertisements, you can decrease or even remove the website from your future searches entirely. Our algorithm actually devalues websites with too many intrusive pop-ups and trackers. Because let's face it, the inshittification of the web is just out of control. So we want you to be able to suppress that as much as you can using our customized features. We also have smaller features that may interest you, such as listicles, which makes it easier for you to find buying advice. We have interesting finds, which are unique websites that may provide value to you that are typically hidden amongst the web. And finally, blasts from the past, which showcases older content that hasn't been updated lately, yet may be worth discovering. You may be thinking, why would you pay for search? 
if you're using Google or another free search engine, you are likely paying that in a different form factor. For example, with your time, with distractions, with your mental fitness, and sometimes financial distractions as well, because these advertisements are just plastered on your screen in hope that you click on them and spend money. We're also very aware that on a typical search engine, AI answers and overviews are a mandatory experience thrown at the user without the ability to turn them off. We here at Kagi only show you AI responses if you end your search query with a question mark. We also offer the user to turn off these AI responses completely if you don't want any AI in your search results. Because our users are customers rather than products, we treat their data with respect. Our customer searches are anonymous. We never associate a search with an account and will never give our customers data to anyone. Whereas Google, on the other hand, as mentioned, they will use your data to extract as much revenue from you as possible. They'll use it to show you advertisements, to alter search results, will offer it to third parties and will even use it to train their AI. This is the result of using something that is free. And according to Statista, Google makes on average $300 a year from each user who uses their search engine. $300. Now again, I don't want this to come across as being disrespecting to Google. I know it may feel like that, but Google's incentives are not aligned with the searcher in our opinion. Whereas the monthly payment with us is our handshake to make search better for you and nobody else. We actually want you to spend as little time on our search engine as possible. We don't want to distract you. We don't want to show you any adverts that may lead you to spending more money. And we don't want your data getting into the hands of anyone that may want to take advantage of you. We want to give you the information you seek as efficiently as possible. This is unlike the Google model which is advertising driven rather than user centric, leading to a search experience filled with sponsored links, data sharing, and biased or irrelevant results that benefit their financial partners and AI training. Kagi is new, but we are evolving as the months go by, iterating and adjusting our search engine to make it the best it can be. We have plans to make our search experience even more private. Our video tab now has the ability to customize results and see more information from your favorite sources, our small web initiative will likely get an overhaul to put light on independent creators and we have huge plans to reward the copyright owners of the content used in our AI applications to fuel the creator economy in the future. And that is just how we do a few things slightly different to Google. We are building what I believe is the future of search and we have a wide range of packages for individuals, families, uh, soon to be educational institutions and we even have packages for large teams as well so definitely check out our website below and if you have any questions hit the comments below as well or contact our support so yeah thanks for watching and happy searching